Okay, another principle that's so important is called thought chains. Thought chains are a quick sequence of thoughts. Unfortunately, they're often negative ones. Things like, oh, my chops feel bad. I can't believe I cracked that note. God, I suck. I'll never get that gig. How come they called that person? Right? We all do it. You know what we have to do? We have to give ourselves a mental stop sign. We have to get ourselves to really stop that kind of thought chain happening in our head and replace it with um, allowing yourself to believe that the next phrase you can play is going to be good. Your sound is going to be really good. You're going to play beautifully. You're going to visualize yourself getting all the, the attributes that you want in your playing. So as soon as you get those negative thought chains, give yourself a stop sign and develop a positive thought chain. Maybe start with a very simple idea or thought and just grow the chain from there. Believe me, it's habitual and it, you can control that. Now, exercise three. Again, same setup. Sitting comfortably, close your eyes, awareness of breathing, quiet mind. Now think back to a time when you played really well, preferably recently. Um, what do you notice about these pictures? Quite different, right? Um, what do you notice about the sound that you're getting? How, um, how do you feel this time, right? Probably a lot more confident. Um, and again, be completely in the experience and, and just notice how you feel. And what do we learn by comparing these two exercises? Well, playing these bad movies to ourselves serves no purpose. So to control our mental screen and improve our chances of playing well, we need to learn from those negative experiences, of course, but then we need to let go of it, vividly dwelling on our positive experience and vividly recreate our quality and excellent playing on, on, a, on a regular basis. So important, right? And with that in mind, I'm gonna to try to be present as I uh, play this last uh, excerpt for you. Um, and I'm really gonna just try to, try to be in the moment of playing this excerpt. This is a, a piece from uh, my Bone Kill Etude book, which is now uh, available as a duet book, I'm proud to announce. And uh, this is uh, an excerpt from one of the etudes entitled Yellow Cab. State of mind. Boy, what an important uh, place we all find ourselves in, right? Right, Especially nowadays. State of mind are our internal representations to ourselves. So our state of mind is a direct result of what we tell ourselves, kind of our internal narrative, as it were. Um, it's the image that passes through the screen of our mind and, and, and our physiology. So we need to uh, we need to develop the ability to control what's on that screen, right? And, and we need to control the narrative that we're telling ourselves. So important. And how do we do that? We do that by choosing words and thoughts that empower us and give us confidence. That idea of possible uh, that we mentioned earlier is a good example of that. <laughs> 